What is going on folks? In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a close look at three NFT crypto gaming city builders for 2024. There's gonna be three different types of games. Now folks, as always, always do your own research before investing because these videos are not financial advice. I do have land in two of these games and the first one has actually just come out. We're gonna be checking that out right now. Now, folks, before we do jump into the first review about Bounty Temple, they are going to be have their private sale for the TYT token. Folks, I'm feeling like this is the token that could potentially get up to that 100x potential. Now, it's really important to say that whenever you are going into a pre-sale for any project or any token, always create an extra wallet that you only use for these kinds of things. All of the instructions of how to get involved in the TYT sale will be at the very top of the description of this video. Bounty Temple is a fresh, hyper-casual concept that lets players earn at their own pace without the stress of rigid time commitments or steep learning curves. Bounty Temple follows a spin-to-win mechanism that's user-friendly and perfect for gamers of all levels. In the immersive Bounty Temple world, you'll explore ancient ruins, unlock hidden powers, and earn rich rewards. Now, one of the most important features is the K Rune NFT for Bounty Temple. So what does it do, guys? K Runes are a limited collection of 21,000 K Runes, and they come in a bundle of 10,000. They enhance the gameplay with special traits that boost in-game actions. They provide the owner with additional earning capabilities via the trait rewards, and they entitle the owner to receive exclusive mystery box airdrops. Who doesn't love an airdrop? The special traits of K runes can be imprinted onto BTMs, which are another type of NFT within the ecosystem. The special traits of K runes can be imprinted onto BTMs via crafting, and special traits can also be passed down to new generations of BTMs via the crafting system. When this happens, the owner of the K rune will earn a whopping 1% trait reward from each BTM that inherits their special trait. This effect can cascade to new generations infinitely. So in a nutshell, folks, the earning potential of Founders Rune owners is unlimited as long as new BTMs continue to be crafted by the community. The more K runes you own, the larger the percentage of BTM DNA will be bound to you, thus increasing your share of the market and corresponding earnings. Now, folks, they also have their TYT token sale, which is coming about this month. Now, I have to say, I am going to get involved in this one. And now, folks, you got to understand, with these newer projects, that's why I started with this one, because this is the one I'm kind of feeling most bullish on in terms of potential return. These are the kinds of projects where the 10 to 100x potential is genuinely there. The next two following projects that we're gonna be looking at don't really have that 100x potential, but this one really, really does with potential money coming into the markets with this bull run into gaming crypto. And the fact that you can also jump on this game on mobile really, really easy and it's just hyper casual mindset kind of style, it makes me really, really bullish about this. So make sure folks you jump on, Follow them on Twitter, all of their socials, guys, I'll leave at the very top of the description of this video, alongside the other links as well. Then in terms of what they're going on early next year in Q1 of 2024, there's a lot, guys. They've got the token generation event, they've got the listing of their token, they've got the marketplace coming through, and the crafting event, guys. This is all happening around February time. Stay tuned for updates. They are aiming for a centralized exchange listing price of around $1, which is essentially an immediate 2x your money, guys, if you are able to get on the private sale of this one for TYT. So yeah, guys, in a nutshell, you know, it is an early project. It does come with the generalized risks of any early project. They don't or they haven't really proven a lot yet, but it's exciting. They've got an exciting team. The concept is there and they're in the most lucrative space within crypto being crypto gaming. Let me know what you think about Bounty Temple in the comments section of this video and drop a like on this video if you enjoy these kinds of comparison videos. As for the second game, folks, we have got Main Cities Loaded Lines by Crypto.com. So this is my actual in-game here. So as you can see, if I just go in and show you guys, it's very much a simple city building game. These are all my individual buildings. Yes, I know they're on fire. It's like a special little thing they've got going on right now with the Dark Lines NFT drop. Essentially, there were these alien-like orbs, which the Dark Lines traveled in because they're meant to be kind of like the Predator alien characters. And they essentially smashed into our lands. And yeah, we're going to get them as NFTs. Pretty crazy, right? So anyway, guys, if I go ahead and actually click on one of these businesses, as you can see, your business has got a base income, a level, a prestige, it's got its quality here, and it's got its special ID numbers. Now, do note that these actual businesses are in-game items, so technically they are not NFTs. But what's actually really unique about this is that you can actually use the blockchain to actually go ahead and buy these in-game items. And honestly, one thing that I actually do really want to say about 
Main City by Crypto.com is, I feel like it is the most lucrative game for what you need to invest in NFT. So I believe that you can actually make quite a bit of money playing this game with quite a small amount of monetary input. It does have its own in-game marketplace where you can actually sell items, you can go ahead and list items here, and you can actually go ahead and have a look at the different items that are actually available on the marketplace. This game actually came out not that long ago at all, so it's actually quite impressive what they actually have brought to market. You can even filter the different rarities of businesses here, starting from common to uncommon, rare, epic, all the way up to legendary. And essentially, folks, if you check my top left of screen, we've got diamond generation here, and we've also got gold generation per second. All right? Right, so the game is essentially about making as much gold and as much diamonds as possible to level up your buildings, sell them, and essentially work your way up the leaderboard rankings. As you can see here, my current leaderboard ranking is 549, which is actually not too bad. Some downfalls of this game is that I feel like it is aggressively pay to win. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm not really the biggest fan of pay to win. but also, if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of CDCCrypto.com and this is, in my eyes, their first real attempt at a play to earn game. So based on that alone, I'm actually just getting behind this project and I'm excited to talk about it and still play it. They also recently had an actual competition mode, okay, so there's two modes, competition and normal. In the actual competition mode, you can actually win a lot of money, but you have to kind of pay your way to get up that leaderboard and people actually ended up winning thousands of dollars there's also another section here called the actual main mansion, okay? So you can actually lay down things here. So this is my gym here, as you can tell. I actually love rock climbing. That's why I've got so many rock climbing gyms. No, not really. Well, actually I do. I like rock climbing and bouldering. But essentially when you lay these down, you essentially lay them down with the idea of actually getting more bonus over here, okay? So more diamond bonus, okay? You need to also use diamonds to open up rooms and things like that. There's all kinds of different rooms and all different bits of pieces here. This is currently the fitness center that we can actually see here. Also got things like the games room where you can play a bit of basketball, pop some plants down. Now you don't actually need any NFTs to play this game, but there are some available NFTs which we will run through just very quickly. So you've got the expedition here, which essentially are different types of backpacks to help increase your gold and diamond generation. You've got the Loaded Lines collection, which is kind of like the OG collection of the CDC app and the Crypto.com ecosystem. So this is going to give you a nice little gold and resource boost within the game of Main City, but also has utility beyond the game of Main City for future games and also things of utility within the app. For example, like boosted APRs on particular coins for Bitcoin and other things like that. You've then also got the Cyber Cubs, which also play a pretty important role in the ecosystem as well, and they are third to the Loaded Lions, second to the Dark Lions, which are coming soon. You've also got the Crypto.com land, the first frontier land plots, which are also going to have some utility, apparently, so they say, beyond Main City. Now, these lands are actually what you're going to need to actually increase that diamond generation specifically within the city builder. And we've got some more Crypto.com expedition gear here, tools of the trade. So again, different rarities. I've shown you kind of like all common, so I'm going to go ahead and actually show you like a top tier rarity here so i'll go up to mythical here and have a bit of a look see they've got like these tents so again guys some of these tents are going to give you some really good diamond generation here okay which is going to be really really important for your in-game potential okay i think some of them might give gold as well guys again i've forgotten because i don't even have a tent so any main city people don't crucify me in the comments just let me know and help a brother out for people that don't know about main city so yeah overall really just to summarize guys for main city i think it's a good game it does come with a lot of issues the, the token that you do earn from selling your businesses is going to be crow which is great because i think it adds a bit more utility for the crow token which i think is absolutely fantastic as opposed to actually just going ahead and creating your own token just for the game which historically has never gone well. So big shout out for CDC for I think really just going about that the right way. It's, yeah, yet to be seen how this goes in the next couple of years. I think the pay to win is quite aggressive, but you know, if they can keep the ecosystem growing, I think there could be some potential good direction for this game. And for the third and final game, folks, yes, it is Illuvium Zero. I am super bullish on the entire Illuvium ecosystem, folks, and that's why I had to go ahead and actually get a land plot for this game. So essentially, folks, really what's happening here is all the landowners that actually own NFT land are going to be able to generate resources on their land we're going to be able to find alluvial sell them on the marketplace and there are actually certain resources on lands some rarer than others that 
folks playing the main game of Alluvium are going to need. So for example, right here, this is a Hyperion Extractor, this little thing here. Now, this is actually needed. The Hyperion resource is actually needed for things like armor and weapons, I do believe. So that's just one example. And aside from that, you've got to go ahead and mine things here. Okay, so we've got silicon, we've got hydrogen, and we've got carbon, okay. All of your stats go up here, and these are the three really expensive ones up here that you really want to get your hands on. So, it's really cool, guys, because essentially, as I did say, players from the main game who are going to be battling are going to need to be buying items off landowners when the actual play to earn mechanics in the full game does go live, hopefully some point next year. As for the actual purchasing of the Alluvium land, this is going to be the NFT that you will need to actually earn from the game. I do believe you can actually play the game, Alluvium Zero, that's going to be the land gameplay without an NFT. But if you do want to earn, you're going to need to have an NFT. The cheapest one here is a Shard Bluff Labyrinth here for 654 USD, equating to just under 0.3 Ethereum. And it's cool because they have their own marketplace, guys. The Illuvi Dex at Illuvium.io which is going to be zero land. And the more rare land, guys, you've got better resources, things like this. And yeah, the prices just keep getting a little bit more expensive there. As we can see currently, there is 20,000 land items, 7,833 owners with 8.58% listed. Now, one thing that I would like to note is that they are planning on adding more lands, which I'm not sure I particularly like the idea of, diluting that supply of 20,000 because it's probably going to devalue the original land, but hopefully there is some benefit to actually holding this Genesis land. So yeah, guys, if this is a game that really takes off Alluvium, then who knows? This Alluvium Zero Play could be really something quite special. And I still see a potential 10x for the ILV token based on this game. If it's everything that we're hoping that it's going to be in the early part of 2024, if people are actually enjoying the gameplay, then this, along with Crow, could be a 10x, guys. Crow could be a 10x. Illuvium could be a 10x, guys, and definitely Bounty Temple could quite easily be, in my opinion, up to 100x based on that original listing there. When it hits those sexes, guys, you just don't know what's going to happen. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, guys. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.